Uplifting Arizona, a high school cross country runner is achieving the impossible. ABC 15 Sports Colin Harmon shows us how. It's 6 a.m. at Boulder Creek High School, and the Jaguars cross country team is lacing up their running shoes before setting out on a three mile run. It's always going to be hard, and you got to find a way to push through work. Work around what life gives you, man. Jack Flores isn't talking about a hot summer run. He's got the endurance for that. The soon-to-be senior has endured far greater challenges in his young life. Jack was born at 28 weeks, so he was very early. So he was in the hospital for two and a half months in the in the NICU there. One of the periodic brain scans is when they found uh, that he had some, some brain damage. So he had cerebral palsy. Doctors said he probably won't walk and it was just there was just this whole range of what he will or won't do and it's just with so much uncertainty. His entire life from that point on has been in different therapies to learn how to do daily tasks that most of us don't think twice about. Not being able to do simple things like your peers that was a big thing for a child and there was a lot of frustration but the beautiful thing about Jack is he has this great imagination he has this great sense of humor and we use that in therapies for him to be able to just keep going. Um, and like I said, he is an overcomer. That's his spirit. Jack is a movie buff and a fan of classic rock. Basketball is his favorite sport, but cross country is where he found his happy place. My mom, since she knew I wanted to play sports and stuff, she found cross country and said, Jack, you should uh, check this out. And I said, OK, I'll do it for a year. And then a year turned into however long I've been doing this. Like, Five, six years. During his freshman year, it took 30 minutes for Jack to run a 5K or 3.1 miles. Fast forward three years, and now he's running a seven minute and 11 second mile. We've actually just really seen big improvements. And, and so that's just been really exciting, like knocking off big chunks of time. It's just nice, especially in track, to see people kind of rally around Jack uh, in his races. You know, the amazing thing about Jack in cross country and running is that he never stops. And so his goal when we've talked about it, has been very different. For other kids, it might be, you know, like I said, be the best, be first. His best looks a little bit different than everybody else's. And so I think it's important to maybe step back a little bit and say, you know, your best is your best. And it might not look like everyone else's, uh, but it's important to acknowledge that and give them an opportunity to, to shine and to be their best. The irony of a boy who was told he wouldn't walk, now running long distances, isn't lost on the Flores family. It's a testament to Jack's tenacity and a powerful message to anyone overcoming a disability. If there's something standing in his way, Jack just keeps running. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Like, I don't let anything that anybody tells me prevent me from doing the things that I want to do in life. Like, I have to know where my limits are because of cerebral Ugh, cerebral palsy, but like you, you can find ways to do what you want and work within the limits that you have. You can live the way that you want to live. There's something for everybody. Colin Harmon, ABC 15 Sports. So many wise lessons there, and I love kids like Jack who are like, just tell me I can't. Yeah. Tell me I won't, yeah. and I will. Whatever challenge yeah. in front of them, you'll so get right good. through it. All right, Jack.